Hello everyone, I'm Albert Bevia with Spain on a Fork. In today's episode, we're going to be making a roasted garlic and rosemary homemade bread loaf. Now for this recipe, no bread makers required and no special skills are required. This is a foolproof recipe and the best part, it's done in under 60 minutes from start to finish. That means within one hour, you're going to have a perfectly cooked loaf of bread with aromas of garlic and rosemary that everybody will love. So let's get started. Okay, and the first thing we want to do is preheat our oven. We're going to put it in the bake and broil option and we're going to go 210 degrees Celsius, which is about 410 degrees. Fahrenheit. Okay, next let's grab a head of garlic and let's crush it to remove the cloves. And now let's cut a slit on each clove of garlic. Now let's add our garlics to a baking tray. Drizzle with just a little bit of olive oil and let's add them to the oven. Okay, so while our garlic are roasting, let's go ahead and start making the dough for our bread. I've got about three-fourths cup of lukewarm water here. I'm going to add to a medium-sized bowl. Now we'll add one teaspoon of active yeast and let's mix the yeast with the water. Okay, so after letting our yeast and water rest for about five minutes, let's go ahead and grab one cup of spell flour and add it to the bowl. Now we'll add three-fourths cup of all-purpose flour, a quarter teaspoon of white sugar, one teaspoon of sea salt, one teaspoon of dried rosemary, half a teaspoon of dried parsley, and about one tablespoon of extra virgin Spanish olive oil. And let's mix it all together. And after mixing this for about three minutes, let's go ahead and grab some flour, add it on a flat surface, and let's add our dough on top. And before we start kneading our dough, let's go ahead and take out our garlic from the oven. And now let's begin to knead our dough. And after kneading our dough for about three minutes, let's go ahead and grab our roasted garlics and let's stuff them inside of the dough. And let's continue to knead our bread. And after kneading our dough for a total of about five minutes, let's go ahead and make it into a ball. Now using the same bowl that we used earlier, let's go ahead and add one teaspoon of extra virgin Spanish olive oil. Let's grease the bowl with our hand. We'll add our ball of dough inside, roll it on there, and then turn it around. That way everything gets a piece of the olive oil. We'll cover it with some saran wrap. And now we'll put a tablecloth over it and we'll let it rest here between 25 to 30 minutes. Okay, so it's been about 25 minutes since we covered our dough. At this point, let's go ahead and preheat our oven again. We're gonna put it in the bake and broil option. And we're gonna go to our highest setting, which is 250 degrees Celsius, which I believe is around 470 degrees Fahrenheit. And now let's remove the cloth and the saran wrap from the bowl. And as you can see, our dough has doubled in size. So let's go ahead and punch it in. Let's add some flour to a flat surface. Let's throw our dough on top of the flour and let's knead it. And after kneading our dough for about one minute, let's go ahead and start shaping the loaf of our bread. And now we'll grab our knife or we're gonna cut three slits that are about a quarter inch thick deep. Now we'll brush some extra virgin Spanish olive oil that I have infused with fresh rosemary on top of the loaf. Now we'll add our loaf of bread to our baking tray with some parchment paper. And let's add the baking tray to the oven and we're gonna let our bread cook between 15 to 17 minutes. Okay, it's been about 15 minutes since we added our loaf of bread to the oven. So let's go check it out. And as you can see, our loaf of bread came out beautifully. So let's go ahead and take it out of the oven. Now we'll add our loaf of bread to a flat surface with some flour. We'll rub it on the flour that's underneath. This will give us that beautiful homemade bread look underneath. Now we'll add our loaf of bread to a wood cutting board. We'll brush a little bit of our extra virgin olive oil with fresh rosemary on top. And now we'll cut a piece of the bread so we can see what it looks like inside. And as you can see, it's perfectly cooked. Now we'll put some fresh rosemary on our cutting board to garnish. And there's our final dish of a roasted garlic and rosemary homemade bread loaf in under 60 minutes. I'd like to thank you for watching today's video on making this roasted garlic and rosemary bread loaf. If you enjoyed it, please subscribe to my channel so you can receive all my future videos. Until the next time, hasta luego.